Yo, right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little upcoming banger by the name of Knights of the Cross. Now, this one is one that I'm telling you right now, keep an eye on it. I have a feeling this one down the line, when it's out fully, might blow up. And if you want to be a hipster such as myself, you'll be like, Aha! I knew of this game before it blew up! Either way, I took this out for a spin already. And everything about this is absolutely charming. The pixel art style is great, the gameplay mechanics are great, there's a nice little story that's actually based on history. As a matter of fact, based on the title itself, the one that I avoided mentioning because I figure I'd butcher, this is a game based on Polish history. I'm not entirely sure what conflict it's actually covering, so those of you who are familiar with that, even Polish bros out there want to chime in, by all means do so. Teach this ignorant bird a thing or two. But the game itself, the little I played, man, it's looking pretty damn good. Okay, so let's see, we're starting off with a Queen Jadwiga. Get ready for me to mispronounce a lot of names, more so than usual anyway. The Teutonic Knights were not even willing to find a justifiable reason for their atrocities. Indeed, they once fought me in the name of God, yet when I returned under the wings of God, they showed no signs of retreating. King Jogaila, they're no longer messengers of God, but followers of the devil. When the greedy hounds come to our doorstep, only shields and long spears can protect our people. It's got a point. It's time to go to war. Let Knight Jasko go to Oles Olesnika to recruit Polish knights. Guard will know. Only the Polish knights are welcomed here, my friends. Now I should know, there's also going to be a roguelike mode for this game. So in case you don't want to necessarily follow the story, there's also just like roguelike builds or runs as well that you can do. But we're obviously tackling the story here. Hey kid, did you hear? The fighting started over at Wilno and they're recruiting knights at Oles... Oh, I gotta get comfortable with this word. Oles... Olesnica. Olesnica. Okay. Let's see if it sticks. Just the two of us working as laborers, we won't be able to build Bogdaniak in this lifetime. But if we can earn a reputation on the battlefield, that'll be another story. Farmlands, mills, they're all in sight. I won't let you miss this valuable opportunity. Let me see, how much of that I taught you, have you remembered? Okay, so we do have to train here what apparently our uncle, if I'm correct. Now, a cool thing about this, it kind of has a bit of like a Fire Emblem-ish type of mechanic when it comes to recruiting. Uh, let's see here, so uncle's going up for a five attacker. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure we can block this. And meanwhile, we'll hit him with some magic bombs. Magic bombs. A nice little strike right there. We don't necessarily need this block, so let's just end our turn. We do keep two cards at hand at the end of a turn. So if you have more than two left over, it lets you choose which ones are the ones that you have, which you prefer for the, you know, holding on for the next round. Let's see here. He's coming up with ten this time around. Do we have enough to block it? No. Actually, we do. Block one. Block two, and then could we have not necessarily killed my uncle? I don't think we want to kill him just because we're training. But could we have knocked him out had I just gone to attacks? Uh, no, no, we wouldn't have. Close, but not quite. Oh, look at that, uncle! You you taught me well. I, th I guess this means he trained us pretty well. We were able to not even take any single bit of damage from him. So bada bing, bada boom. Don't worry, it's a tutorial battle, it's supposed to be easy. Ugh. Oh, don't dawdle, no one's gonna go easy on you in battle. I mean, I didn't go easy on you. Mock him? Pretend you fell for it. Gain 200 gold or 150 gold and tame a card flame. I'd rather mock him. Let me get this card, baby. Uncle, let's sit down and talk. Should I go find a surgeon? It's just a minor injury. <laughs> oh, you've learned some skills, kid. Here's somebody for you. Go, go buy some gear that suits you. Okay. So off to the town we go, hopefully get recruited. The center square of Olaniska is just ahead. I found out that the recruiting captain is there, and we must perform well. Are you also joining Knight Jasko to serve His Majesty the King? Ah uh, yes, as soon as we heard that His Majesty was recruiting, we came here overnight. 
You and this child? <laughs> this is not a church doing charity, but a battlefield. Commander, my long sword is ready to serve his majesty. Let me tell you, both of them are ready to serve- I- okay, stop. Stop, you. You absolute immature pervert. So here we go with a boy coming up with nine damage to us. Can we block it? No, no we cannot. That is quite unfortunate. So, what I will do is I'm gonna hold on to this blood spell so we can use the next turn and we can do, get some of that damage that we'll take back. So let's just go boom. Now check what he's, check what uncle's doing. Four times two, right? Now he's up to six times two. And that's where he's stopping. Could it change if I do this now? It could. But I'm gonna stick with that one. And again, it all depends on what you do. I'm not entirely 100% sure of that mechanic just yet. I need to kind of look into it a bit more. I've only played this for like 10 minutes before I record this video, so... I don't know everything, but you know, just the gist of it. So let's end our turn right here. And if you're wondering, yes, they can indeed attack your party members, as a matter of fact. But uh, we know they're coming at us because we could either highlight them, or you will see here that he's going after number one. We are number one. Rest well today and report to the military camp tomorrow. Yes, Commander. All right. So, they were mocking us, but then we wiped the floor with them. What card do we get now? Oh, another blood spells there too, huh? Let's stack up the chance to heal ourselves in combat. So I turned tutorial off because I've already done this, so... Otherwise here it'd tell you about going to camp to uh, learn about the different NPCs here. But we're going to go there because we want to actually hire somebody. Recruit, I should say. So over here with Eva, we could heal our party members. Um, here we could shop for cards. Here with Anonymous, interesting NPC. You could, um, you know, get rid of some cards that you don't want to probably use anymore. And this lets you fight bosses that you've defeated before. We are looking to recruit. So let's go and recruit teammate. And what do we have? And it's going to be random because um, I got you on my off-camera run. And I got you. But I did not have you. I actually had a healer. Actually, I actually was hoping for the healer as well. But uh, no such luck. This one costs 100 recruit. You're 150. You're 100. So we almost had enough, almost enough to recruit two of them. But we could do that, maybe we do another fight, come back and then recruit another person, we'll have four people in our squad. Let me pick her up first, and then we'll probably get the Lancer afterwards. So let's hit the road, and let's see here. We have a random three-star quest. Let's do Camp Patrol here really quickly, which is going to be part of our main story anyway. And hopefully that puts us enough to come and hire the last person for our spot here. The camp has been stationed. Everyone be careful. Those armor-clad hyenas are waiting for a feeding opportunity at any time. Let me see Zabisco. Commander. Inspect the camp. I've heard about your skills from my guard. Don't let me down. Yes, Commander. A while later, you heard some rustling sounds in the forest beside you. This is not a normal thing. No, it's not. It's some armor-clad hyenas, as a matter of fact. Okay. So now we have a third person in our squad, obviously. Uh, let's see here. They're all coming after our ranger, as a matter of fact. So, how can we mitigate this? If we can knock one of them out right now, it'd be great, but I don't think we have enough attack cards on us now. So instead, what I'll do is I'll try to mitigate some of your damage coming up. And then, we just gotta go all out on one of these dudes. Doesn't really matter which one. Let me go after Spear Militia, I suppose, and all of these will be attack cards. I guess we could hold on a Blood Spell for a... Uh... Well, I mean, we'd heal ourselves right now. We're a little bit away from Max, and that'll do like four heal. Yeah, we might as well just go crazy. And if we're lucky, both of them seem to be going after this guy. So if we do enough damage, they might follow up with a knockout. Can you guys do 21? Yes. Six times two and ten. Let's go. Wait a minute. Deal 10 damage to 2. Oh, it's random. You could mitigate this completely if you attack him twice. Attack him twice, please. Save yourself. Oh. That she did. Cool. So all she did was just lose 1 HP. Because she also weakened this dude, so his attack went overall down. So yeah, just 1 is perfect. 
Now they're going back after her again. Could we knock homeboy out? I'm not really sure, but you know what? Let's just make a safe side and we'll do a block and then we'll do our attacks here. And blood spell. As a matter of fact, if I hit you with this, it seems that they should knock you out. Boom. And another thing I like about this game, even though it's a card battler, it's very, very quick, you know? It's just everything's happening really quickly, so you're not spending like forever in a single fight. What happened? A few of mice tried to sneak in, don't worry, I've taken care of all of them. Good job. But don't let your guard down. They won't give up so easily. Alright, now Zabisco has indeed leveled up. New teammate unlocked. Excuse me. Really? So I guess now these characters are available for me to recruit, huh? Okay. By the way, we have a side quest with our ranger, as a matter of fact, here too. So your characters will also have their own little stories that if you progress, you know, they further progress as characters and level up and stuff like that. Um, Before we tackle her quest, still, let's go over to camp. And let's recruit. Oh, here she is. This is who... Ah, oh, I don't have enough. This is who I had off camera, who was like a, a bit of a buff support character. Oh well. It does seem to just be randomized, because the girl that was here before the night, she's now gone, and we have this one. Quintana and Attacker Cross Bowman. Well, I don't have enough, and I just have to have the four spots right now. It's only a demo anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much, so let's just pick up the Lancer. Sisters help. There seems to be some movement in the distant forest. Should we go check it out? Yes. Oh, three people. Do we need to take a detour? There are roadblocks 2,000 steps away and there are four people in the forest cover. Oh, so she has like her little bird tell us what's going on, huh? Apparently there were elves back in those times as well. Pretty cool. I was not aware of that. <laughs> was not aware that uh, Poland had the elves. Can you see that far? Perija just flew over to check and told me to warn everyone to be careful. Perija? Is that this little bird? Yes. Well, she said that three people look like slightly armed civilians and shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. If we want to help the travelers behind us avoid this trouble. Of course, if we take a detour, it'll be easier for us. So if we take a detour, we can restore Team HP, which we're kind of maxed out anyway. If we deal with them, we will gain some gold. Yeah, let's do that one. We're not cowards. We've been waiting for you. Hand over the money now. They don't seem like they'll be difficult to deal with. Don't talk back. Hand over the money. Hmm, that could be an interesting fight. It doesn't seem like these guys are actual soldiers. They seem to be dressed like villagers, so... I wonder if there's going to be some sort of like impact down the line for slaying these villagers who are just maybe trying to protect themselves. Who knows? Um, let's see. So, you're coming after me. Four and three. So they're spreading attacks all over the place now. Gonna be a bit more harder now to take care of everybody this way. Um, so let's just... We got two blocks though, so we could definitely mitigate two of them to some degree. I could always heal myself, so you know what? I'll take my attack and I'm gonna block my teammates to some degree. So, boom. And boom. And who are we going after? I mean, if you guys could follow suit and try to attack number two, maybe we could knock him out altogether. Uncle? Uncle's got something. He's going after one, two, and three. Yeah, the attacks seem all over the place. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it. Nah. Take my seven. You blocked yours, and you only took one. That's perfect. That worked out splendidly. And again, I could always heal myself with blood spell, which I will, so it's all good. Let's take care of this dude here. And if we could maybe hit him in one of these randoms, it'd be great. We did. As a matter of fact, all three strikes went to him, so <laughs> it wasn't that great. I was hoping for a little bit of a spread. I mean, we got the knockout that I wanted, but still. Um, and then you're coming after me for nine. You're going up there, there for ten. I will indeed protect teammate. And I'll eat my lumps here for this one. Or 
Or... Oh, not quite. Six because of the debuff and completely blocked out. Alright, that worked out great. Let's for sure get rid of this guy right now. We can block Homeboy over there. It's the unfortunate problem. No reason to keep this guy alive. But you guys seemed... Oh my god. You guys are completely charged up. So they're going to probably unleash their special attacks. Very much like we do. They could also, you know, charge up their stuff. So we might see one. Yep. Elven Blessing. 18 damage to all enemies and I think more than likely... I'm not sure what the added effect was, but they're gone. No problem. Well, everything is fine now. I know about it. Your sister's the best in your eyes, right? I don't know what that meant, but okay. <laughs> Maybe a rough translation patch. Perea is your sister? No wonder she's so smart. Okay. So the bird's her sister. Poland? I mean, I don't know, dogs. You you tell me. You tell me about your history with the elves and, uh, you know, birds and elves being brothers and sisters or whatever, which is actually kind of cool. It incorporates me to some degree. Maybe I was related to an elf for all I know back in the day. You accepted this strange thing so quickly. Time is life, or general is trapped by the enemy. You must deliver the message to the commander's hands. Ooh, we got a... A well-fortified knight here, I would say. Zabisco, I already knew you could be relied on. Yesterday those cowards who surrendered gave us an important tip. Knight Jaros was intercepted at the city, outskirts forest. Now if we can deliver this message to Knight Mikolia. Maybe we can still save Knight Jaros in time. Commander, I'm willing to serve you. Love the pixel art, by the way. So good, like the backdrops and everything. With the sprites, so good. Knight Jaros is waiting for us, young man. It's up to you now. Two days later. Wait, there's someone behind. It must be those annoying pests in armor again. So annoying, no matter where we go, we can't get rid of them. Don't want to let those pests fly around. It's usually more effective to kill them. Damn right, Zabisco. Talk never solved anything. It's all about war. It's all about bloodshed and killing your opponents. Okay, so uh, definitely a bit stronger. 81 and 65. 11 and 10. Should probably go after B Militiaman first with that lower HP. It seems you're about to do some crazy blocking stuff too, huh? So yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of the Militiaman here first. We have nothing to block, so we're all going to eat damage right now. Unless we use my charge attack, I suppose. But you know what? We've been fairly good with HP so far, so let's just go all out. We'll use my charge whenever I think we need it, but right now I think it's fine. Oop. They still have their charge-ups? Joe, let's go. You guys could do some hardcore damage right now. Go after the Militiaman with the bow. Actually, I think that goes after both of them, right? Oh, yes it does. Rock Smash. Oh, you know what she did? She also cancelled out Homeboy's um, buff defense that was coming up. Yo, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we ate some right there, but that's all good. I mean, they're almost done already. I think having four people in our squad, especially these two back here, is very helpful. Okay, so... Let's just end your life. And nobody needs to block, so I guess... Blood spell. about it. I guess so much for using my charge up. He ain't surviving. Oh my god. So yeah, note to self. Early on, it might be a little bit of overkill if you have a four people in your squad. <laughs> they seem to be followed by reinforcements. We can't delay any further. Let's go. We're not far from the city of Vilna. Hopefully we'll make it in time. Alright, so we have a skill upgrade now with Uncle here. And so with Payet as well. Let's see. What did you upgrade? So you're four times two and up to five times two vertical strike, right? And Payat. Deal five damage random enemy, apply weakness, went to seven, and still one stack of weakness. Alright. Take my 50 gold. New card. Terminator. Deal eight damage to an enemy if the if the target is killed, gain two stacks of what? Strength. Okay, so use it right before you knock somebody out with it, huh? You know what? Let's go with that one. The Titanic Knights came back 
come like a black tide, trying to drown out the sounds of resistance here. The warriors of the Polish Lithuanian Alliance arrived with a large amount of grain, extending the life of the city. We must do something. It's not time to despair yet, listen to me. It is so difficult to defend the city now. Those black hyenas would not be better off anywhere. As long as we can hold Wilno, there is still a... Oh, he's gonna be Night Jaros, new character. Or we can invite the messenger of the Roman Pope to come and witness the life and death duel. Although this is bound to be more arduous path, as long as we can win the... Win the what? Why, 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 why did it cut off? It happened with the earlier one too, didn't it? When Uncle was talking. Like apparently hitting next doesn't let the next part of the message show up. It just kicks you over to the next um, person talking. Marza's clothes don't touch. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? The city's management is really chaotic. It's dirty and smelly everywhere. Just like, just like a place where rats live. I don't like it here. The street is really unbearable. We should hurry up and get on the road. Although I'm almost unable to walk anymore. I think I'll hold on a little longer if it means resting here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, look at this dude. Oh, that's an ugly bastard if I've ever seen one. Excuse me, move aside. <gasps> My white dress. This is the environment we live in, I warned you. With, with the water, it's your own fault for not moving. You, you're dead. What do you want to do? We have our crew too. We're not afraid of you. Oh, that's a typical ugly bastard response right there, huh? Alright. Let's see here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Tenor for me. Tenor for Uncle. Tenor for Uncle. So they're going heavy on Uncle attacks right here, huh? Okay. Well, I don't think we have enough time, or at least enough um, attacks to knock one dude out. So let's definitely mitigate some of the damage to Uncle. And then we'll heal after we eat our bumps here. Let's go after... It doesn't really matter who we go after. They'll have the same amount of HP, huh? But this guy is indeed debuffing me, which I'm not crazy about. Strike. And we'll hold on to Blood Spell for after we take damage. End turn. Okay. Down to 54 first guy. Now what's my debuff? Take 25 additional damage. Hmm. Not, uh, not crazy about that. Especially when Homeboy's coming here with, uh, 16 damage my way. Terminator card is back. So let's start off here with the nice little HP recover. And, and, and we're going to have to block some of this damage. That's a lot. 16 is a big, significant amount. So boom, boom, boom. And then we strike and we'll hold on to the Terminator card for whenever we're about to get that knockout blow. Okay. Next turn could be the knockout blow, as a matter of fact. Yep, sorry about that back there, but I needed to block myself with some of that damage coming up. So this should be it. Um, Terminus will be 8, right? Let's heal up. And Terminator away. Now we good. I think I will knock him out. Yeah, I got him. Never mind. Don't worry, lads. I got it. Alright, so Ugly Bastard went down. We also have apparently unlocked Agony 1. Accumulate 1,000 damage. Nice. And our girl. Not Messiah, but Masaya. It's leveled up. So that's done. Great. Let's go over to Recruit. And let's just see who we pop this time from this squad. 150. There's a new one. I kind of wanted this one. With a freaking rifle and everything. And our little girl from earlier. Let's do, let's just waste our money and refresh to see if we can see different characters. We got Modima. This is the guy that we apparently unlocked. Another gunner character. Uh, same squad again. <laughs> same squad again. It might be limited because it's only a demo, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we basically saw, it seems more than likely, more than likely, we saw the characters available here for the demo. But there you guys have it. This has been Knights of the Cross, as I said. Definitely very promising. 
This one is one to keep your eyes on. I definitely will, as a matter of fact, on my part, because I loved everything about it. The background's great, pixel art is great, there's a story to it, the combat is actually nice and fluid, it's a card battler, but you're gonna be there forever, you know, thinking things through. I like the squad-based mechanics, everything about this right now. Mwah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.